the relatively mild winters of Louisiana allow us to plant a variety of palms in our landscapes. And everybody loves these dramatic and graceful plants for the, what they bring to the beauty of our landscapes. Well, with the freezes we had in early January, they've really taken a hit all across the state. And although palms are used more commonly in South Louisiana, there are a number of palm plantings in North Louisiana as well. Here in Baton Rouge, the damage was moderate. And depending on the hardiness of a palm, we see varying amounts of damage. Behind me next to the house there you see some queen palms and they're among the most tender of the palms that we commonly plant. They're questionable here in Baton Rouge, although I have a feeling they're mostly going to come back. North Louisiana, I think they're going to be gone. In the New Orleans area, I believe they've probably made it. Now other palms just had their fronds burned. And you can see that in this Washingtonia right here. Now these fronds just need to be removed. These palms are going to be coming back just fine. And the hardier of the species of palms that we grow, like this jelly palm you see right here, or this beautiful cabbage palm, well they're quite hardy and they didn't suffer at all in the freezes here in South Louisiana. Now you do need to remove these dead and damaged fronds and when you cut them off, cut them off fairly back close to the trunk. And if you look at this trunk right here, you'll see these have been cut off properly. Don't leave a long petiole segment. Get this done by April. Uh, you don't want to fertilize your palms too much this year or pamper them too much. Let them slowly grow out of this and recover and give them some fertilizer in the summer once you see some new growth coming out. Take care of your palms. They're beautiful in our landscapes and I hope yours come back for you. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.